Hello guys, welcome to the Management Accounting Revision Shots with me, that's C. Adisha Maheshwari. In this, we are going to revise some of the concepts of management accounting within five minutes. At Pintram, we have created Revision Boot Camp, which is available for management accounting as well as for the other subjects of ACCA. In Revision Boot Camp, we provide revision of a key examinal concept covering various syllabus area. We also provide video quotient marathon, which is an extensive quotient practice pool, including pass exam quotient, concept based quotient solved by the faculty, providing all the tips and tricks and also computer based exam training and related guidelines. So this is revision short, which is a short and free version of revision bootcamp. So let's start with the first revision short. So guys, the first concept which we are going to revise is from the chapter labor. And the concept is labor turnover. Now, what is labor turnover? The concept is very simple and very easy. As the name suggests, that labor turnover, that means in a year, at what rate your labor force is changing, okay? Now, normally it's being said that if the labor turnover ratio is high, it's not good for the organization. Why it's not good for the organization? That means your labor force is changing rapidly. Because of that, organization has to face a lot of difficulties. Because it's a very simple thing that if a skilled labor is going to leave you, then A, you have to hire again someone who is you know, at the same skill level and you have to do entire the recruitment process until the time you are not going to hire that person then your you know productivity your efficiency and all of those things will hamper so that's why it's always being said that labor turnover ratio should be minimum it cannot be zero because of course some amount of you know labor force will join and some amount of labor force will leave the organization so it cannot be zero but you need to keep it as minimum as possible now Coming to the formula of labor turnover, the formula is very simple. Number of what? Number of employees who left the organization divided by average employee. When I say average employee, that means opening employees, like the employees on the 1st of Jan, plus closing employees, that is employees at the 31st of December, divided by two. That gives you what? That gives you the average number of employees during the year. So the our final formula is number of employees who left the organization divided by average number of employees during the year in 200. Through this formula, we are going to get the labor turnover. So we understood the concept. We understood the formula. Now, let's talk about what are the causes of labor turnover. So some causes of labor turnover will be avoidable and some of them are unavoidable. If I talk about the unavoidable causes, the unavoidable reasons, which is not within in the control of you know employer which will be there okay so some of the reasons because of which you know uh, employees going to leave the organization are retirement a then we have you know there might be you know illness or sickness or death or there can be, you know, pregnancy issues or some kind of these issues. So these kind of issues cannot be avoided by whom? By the employer. But if I talk about the avoidable, like the reasons because of which labor turnover is high and which employer can control are, first of all, you know, if employee is not satisfied with their remuneration, then so, you know, you have to give them remuneration as per the industry standards. So in that way also, you can keep the labor turnover low. Lack of promotion aspects. So again, that is one of the reasons. Not good work culture in the organization. That is also one of the issue. So these are the some of the issues because of which we can avoid. If we work on these issues, if we give them proper remuneration, if we give, you know, give them proper pro promotion aspect, if we give them proper training, if we, if an uh, employee feel good and nice, you know, working in that particular organization, if they have a good work culture, so obviously they want to stay in that organization. So that is also one of the way by which you can keep your labor turnover minimum. So these are some of the reasons avoidable and unavoidable for what? For labor turnover. So that's the concept of what? That's the concept of labor turnover. I will see you in the next revision shot. Till then, this is Siyadisha Maheshwari signing off.